Hi, me again. Now we're just going to take that match and index a stage further because actually what we're going to do is combine the two together. So where we have here our match function and down here we have our index function, what we can actually do is combine the two together. So here I'm going to take the value is 1 um, but I'm actually going to take the function itself, so I'm going to copy that and I must press enter here, otherwise it's going to edit this function. So I press enter and rather than editing the function, it goes down to the next cell. Now I've copied the function from there and now I go into here and double click on there, M8, rather than having the value of that cell in there, I'm going to paste in the function which is in that cell. And again, I must press enter now, otherwise it's just going to mess up the, the function. I now do exactly the same for this one, so I select the function rather than the value, copy that, go back into here, and paste over the cell reference with the actual function. And now you'll see that this is working perfectly, so it's choosing the correct references, and that's 3, so discount is 3, so master 2100 at discount rate should be 5040, which it is, and if I were to choose a different model, super 75, 54 pounds, and that's also correct. Now you'll notice these numbers are updating as I change the model number, but actually now that I've copied the function into this cell here, those are superfluous. I can actually delete them and it will continue to work perfectly well without them because they're no longer referenced. So you'll see that all that we need is now in there. And this is actually called a nested function. So we have an index function, but nested within the index function, we have a match function for the row and also a match function for the column. So there you go, that's a simple way to nest a match function within the index function. I'm Neil Guy. I hope that's been useful and thank you for listening.